Okay, here we go. First round, let's do it. I'm shooting 165 grains. All right, first shot, how is super light? Not too bad. I mean, it gives a punch, that's for sure, but nothing, yeah, that's not bad. Kaboom, all right, let's clean it. All right, guys, all cleaned up. Here's round two. We're gonna adjust, um, I saw it hit low, so stretch them out. Here we go. Looks like we still need to come up. It's taking me about five minutes to do the cleaning, so it's perfect for the barrel to cool down. I am positioned a little high on this bipod, so I might kick back a little bit. All right, we're getting closer as far as the height. Round four. All right, here goes shot five. Still low. Goes round six. Round seven. All right, guys, so this is shot eight. Should be able to hit this gray rock. This is shot nine. Looks like I'm still high. This is shot 10. Smoked it, I think. All right, 10 rounds. Got all sided in. I'd say all sided in, but at least we hit the rock. Okay, I'm gonna do two rounds this time. Put them in the mag. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, rapid fire so that we can tell um, or try to see how hot the barrel gets after two fast rounds. Um, I'm just gonna be doing a feel check uh, because I don't have anything to check that temperature with. Plus, I don't wanna get that technical into it. Um, but the barrel's clean, it's cool. We'll do the two shots and I'll feel it and kind of compare it to the single shot. Um, and yeah, I'm sure it's gonna be warm, but it shouldn't get too, too hot. The single rounds weren't bad. All right, ready? Oh. Yeah, no, not hot. We'll do three rounds here in a little bit. Um, and, or I guess we'll go through a whole mag. All right, so the barrel did take a little bit longer to cool, maybe like a minute or two. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do two more rounds. We'll do it fast also, just to heat up that barrel the way that they need it to for um, that metal to start to seal up. Actually gonna freehand this one for you guys just so you can see the kick on it. Actually probably wasn't a good representation. I was just trying to actually go fast. <laughs> I'll do it again. Okay, so let's try this again. Sorry, it's starting to, the wind's starting to pick up here. But uh, free hand standing. Good. 
getting some uh, resistance with the extractor. Yeah, the extractor for some reason just doesn't want to uh, pull out these shells. All right, guys, so I'm going to take my time on this one. Just so you can see this freehand, taking my time between shots. Okay, so that's with me standing with my feet pretty much together, which most people probably won't do, but sometimes, you know, you might have to in the field. So go ahead and pull that out. So I'm getting that shell. I don't know if you guys can see that. The shell kind of like got stuck getting extracted. So I'm definitely going to have to look into that. Um, but it almost seems like it's the next round is coming out and there's not enough spring to pull it out. So let's go ahead and do the second round. Let me spread out. better yeah so this is the issue that I'm having they're pulling out but there's not enough spring in that extractor or it's at a bad angle or something these rounds are getting stuck so I don't know you can see it there yeah it's getting stuck right there so um, that's why I'm not able to do a good follow-up shot. It's kind of been 50-50 with it. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on with the extractor. Um, I mean, it's, it cycles fine, just like this. Throw a round in it though, or at least a used round. Right. So that one's good. That one was okay. I mean, they're not great though. See, that one just like rolled out. Just rolls out. Lots of brass in there. Don't typically see that, I don't think, on most of my other guns, so. It's just could just be the breaking in process. I'm gonna brush that stuff off though. We'll kind of test it. All right, so it cleaned up a lot compared to what it was. All right guys, so I did finish uh, shooting the 20 rounds to do the barrel break-in. Um, now I'm going to shoot a little bit longer distance. Um, just double check, make sure that I'm, you know, center as far as left and right. And then I'll, um, I'll probably end up shooting on paper, not today, but um, later on. So um, we're gonna shoot all four rounds um, that it can hold because the mag can hold three so we'll just go ahead and load these guys up one two three i don't think it'll hold the fourth nope just does the three so then we'll put this in the chamber we'll go through all four rounds and see how hot the barrel gets um, and then uh, after that, we'll shoot a couple long distance shots and I'll just um, kind of see where, where I'm shooting. So, Okay, so got the mag, three rounds. I'll put that in. We're going to put one in, but not all the way. Drop it out. Put a third one in the mag. Close it up. Put it on safety. And then we should have four rounds now. Alright, so Let's do it. Make sure here. One. That one ejected fine. Two. That one ejected okay. Three. 
didn't eject four and that barrel's hot but I'm able to keep my hand on it for a while it's really not that bad considering that barrel's so thin so that's good all right well we'll give it um, a shot far let's let the barrel cool off give it a couple shots far over here um, get a range for where I was shooting here and then yeah then we should be done okay so while we're letting the barrel cool I'm just gonna do some ranges here so where that rock was is 82 okay I said 80 and then this other white rock I was aiming at that's 141. Okay, so I think I'm gonna shoot, <sighs> I think I'm gonna shoot over up on this hill. Oh, perfect. It's 298 over there at that hill. So I'm turn this around. I'll get the other uh, lens, but right on that hill is 298 so pretty much where I'm at at the chair it'll be 300 yards um, there's a spot kind of up in the middle on the right has some dark stuff so I'll just try to aim for that anyway but there's a dark spot yep is that one still extracted just like weak Okay, so that one was low, definitely. Okay, so I hit next to that rock, but I am hitting a little to the left. Just had problems with this extraction. Um, and unfortunately, one, two, three, four. That should be, yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's do this last round up here. I was like an inch over that rock, which that's what I was aiming. Okay, I had a perfect extraction there. So not really sure as far as the extraction, what's going on, but. All right guys, so just got done uh, shooting, ended up shooting 28 rounds. Can definitely feel it in my shoulder, but it really isn't that bad. I mean, I'm shooting a 308. 308 does kick, it's 30 caliber, um, but I mean, being as lightweight as it is, I, I mean, I couldn't be happier with it. Um, I feel comfortable. The only thing that I had an issue with was the extractor. I know that if I needed a second shot, um, I need that. I need that round to extract. So I am going to reach out to Hala, try to figure out that situation. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, and then, yeah, um, I do have my custom dial waiting at home. That should be out to like 550, 600 yards. And yeah, once I put that on, I should be good to go. Bear hunting's on Saturday. Um, is actually when I get there. Starts on Sunday, so hopefully I'll get a shot at one. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for being patient with me. I had a lot of home stuff going on. We moved and um, just some other stuff. So. Um, but today was a great day to come out and shoot. Um, I'm all alone out here and got my gun done. Um, so I'm happy. I hope you guys are happy. If you guys like that video, hit that like button. Um, if you guys want to follow up and watch that uh, bear video, um, hopefully from this trip, um, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button um, down below so that you guys can keep up. But other than that, thanks for watching. 